Is it time to upgrade your router? Cause it's been a year of new wireless technologies and as phones get 5G, are you ready to upgrade your home to the newest version of Wi-Fi? Wi-Fi 6. What is it? What can it do? And how do you get it? You've got those Wi-Fi questions. We've got those Wi-Fi answers. Let's chat some new technology. Hey all, Juan Carlos Bagnell here, some gadget guy for reviews.org to chat about Wi-Fi technology. Wi-Fi 6 is the newest version of Wi-Fi and it's better than Wi-Fi 5. Thanks so much for watching, smash that bell icon. Couldn't help myself there. It's my first video on the channel. Okay, but for reals, one of the first changes coming to the standard is simply the name. Wi-Fi 6 is the sixth distinct generation of Wi-Fi. Its proper technical designation is 802.11ax, an evolution of the previous generation, 802.11ac. Just like phones, where we talk about broad generations, 4G and 5G, but each generation is comprised of different radio technologies. The Wi-Fi Alliance is trying to simplify the strings of letters and numbers consumers might find on the side of a box. And on other consumer electronics like laptops, phones, and tablets, it's going to be easier to put a little 5 or 6 in the Wi-Fi indicator than AC or AX. It saves you a whole character in your notification tray. The great thing about Wi-Fi, general backwards compatibility. If you buy a new router, that router has to support products using older generations of Wi-Fi and vice versa. If you buy a new computer with Wi-Fi 6, you don't need to upgrade your router just to use it. However, if the label on the side of your router says, 802.11b, you might want to think about swapping that out. When we talk about generational improvements, it's easy to get hung up on speed. That's the fun conversation. Like phone 4G to 5G does increase the peak theoretical connection from 6.9 gigabits per second to 9.6 gigabits per second. It's unlikely that you have a home internet connection that maxes out the bandwidth of Wi-Fi 5, but that maximum connection speed is handier when we spread it around. We're not talking about one computer getting a crazy easy fast connection, but multiple devices connecting online and talking to each other. This is an evolution over Wi-Fi 5, and the main challenges for wireless data are an ever-increasing number of gadgets in a home or a business. It kind of creeps up on you, but think about how many signals a teched out home has to manage these days. TVs, home automation, security, phones, tablets, PCs, and there's a fair amount of Bluetooth happening which might interfere with other wireless signals. The new tech in Wi-Fi 6 improves on a router's ability to juggle those signals and find a more stable connection. Helpful in your home, even more critical for businesses and offices. As one personal example, while my wife and I use some cloud services for backups, we also have network attached storage, a box full of hard drives connected directly to our router that any computer or phone or tablet in our home can access. We can stream a movie to our TV, work on some documents and backup photos and videos faster locally when we have more bandwidth. No internet required, it's all local. Better still, these improvements are being applied not only to downloads, but also uploads. In a world where many of us need to be a bit more fluid with work or school, Wi-Fi 6 brings the downlink improvements of Wi-Fi 5 and applies them to the data you broadcast. Now, once we start talking more about carriers and ISPs, we'll need to chat about speed more in terms of both downloads and uploads. I don't think it helps much if you can download a whole movie in 20 seconds, but you can't send your video up for a stable conference call. Wi-Fi 6 will be better at managing all of the various up and down streams when connecting to multiple devices in a single location. Better consistency and better signal stability are critical for connected devices. And of course, it is worth mentioning, Wi-Fi 6 is a standard built for faster data rates and lower latency. The areas around the world that are getting gigabit internet or faster. Those lucky gigabit people are really going to dig some of these improvements. However, if you're poking around on a slower connection to your home from your ISP, Wi-Fi 6 can still help organize the data moving around your home. It will be more efficient, more stable, 
and it should use less power, but it won't magically make your home internet faster than what your ISP can provide. Wi-Fi 6 is pretty cool. It's nice to see an evolutionary improvement that addresses some of the challenges of modern life and maintains respectable backwards compatibility. The last question is, how do you get it? To reap the full benefits of Wi-Fi 6, both the end user device and the router need to support the Wi-Fi 6 standard. When buying a new computer, phone, or tablet, many products built in 2020 are already incorporating Wi-Fi 6 hardware. Samsung and Apple were early with some of the phones they shipped in 2019, but most premium gadgets made over the last year support it now too. As we move into 2021, we should expect more adoption, especially moving to more mainstream mainstream pricing. Likewise, on the router side, Asus was one of the first to offer Wi-Fi 6 on a premium gaming router in 2018. And since then, we've seen other manufacturers like Netgear, TP-Link, Linksys, and a few others with a variety of offerings at different price tiers. Moving into 2021, we should expect to see that competition keep pricing competitive. And we should get a few more options not only for faster Wi-Fi, but with better support for 2.5 gig and 10 gigabit Ethernet. But we'll have to save the Ethernet chat for a future video. Our homes, our gadgets, our lifestyles are more connected than ever. New tech like Wi-Fi 6 helps us organize that data better and stay connected. Are you rocking Wi-Fi 6 hardware in your home? Has it helped you manage your work-life balance? Drop us some comments down below. Those are the conversations I love getting into. And stick around on the Reviews.org YouTube channel for all of our coverage on smart home tech, streaming services, phone reviews, and more. For Reviews.org, I'm Juan Carlos Bagnell. Thanks so much for watching, for sharing, and subscribing to the channel. And I'll catch you all on the next video.